Dani and uh, my respectable brother, Naveed, please Jesus. come and share the word of God. And I know that God is going to bless us. Thank you. Please come and share the word of God. Hallelujah. Hello, everybody. Praise the Lord. Welcome, Brother Naveed. And welcome to you, dear sister. Thank you. And thank you for very effective help today. <laughs> Already given and in the future. <laughs> Oh, praise the Lord. We're going to have fun today. I want you all to have your paper and pens. Have your Bible open. And your heart and your mind prepared. Because God has answered. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Oh, precious Heavenly Father. How we love you and praise you today. I don't have enough words to thank you for every blessing. Oh, we love you, Lord. Hallelujah. I submit myself to you. Speak through me, Lord. I'm your girl. Father, I pray for divine hearing today. Divine understanding. And willing hearts. Thank you for your word. And thank you for naming us. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise and glory. In the precious, powerful name of Jesus. Amen. 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 For those of you who were here in Bible study last week, we learned our name. As we studied in Isaiah 43, God said, your name will be you are mine hallelujah hallelujah praise Jesus we're not going to have any distraction today we're not going to have interference from the weather. And we cancel every plan of the enemy right now. 
और हम दुश्मन के तमाम मंसूबों को अभी से मंसूब करते हैं इन द माइटी नेम ऑफ जीसस यीशु के कुदरत वाले नाम में आमीन 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 प्रेज गॉड प्रेज गॉड खुदावन की तारीफ हो यू नो एज यू स्टे इन द सर्विंग द लॉर्ड जब आप खुदावन की खिदमत में लगे होते हैं Your gift of discernment will grow. तो फिर आपका इम्तियाज करने वाली जो रूह है ना इम्तियाज करने वाली वो और बड़े And you will recognize when something comes in the room. और आप इस बात को जान जाएंगे जब भी कमरे में कोई चीज आती है That isn't from the Lord. कि ये खुदावन की तरफ से नहीं and you will not respond in nervous fearful action aur aap bade chehra utra hua ho aur bade mayusi ke aanand mein jawab nahi denge you will respond with your god given authority aapka rad e amal khuda ki taraf se diye gaye ikhtiyar ke mutabiq hoga and you will stay calm cool and collected aur aap intihai khamoshi and because you are submitted to god aur kyunki aapne apne aap ko khuda ke sapurd kiya hai you resist that messenger from satan to us shaitan ka jo karinda ya paigham hoga aap uski mazahmat karenge and it will flee hallelujah to phir wo bhag jayega khuda ban ki tareef So any time you hear me stopping and rebuking the enemy or jab kabhi aap mujhe dekhein ki main rukti aur dushman ko daatti hu that is why to ye wahi kaam hai jo main kar chuki hu because we have a job to do kyunki hame kaam sopa gaya karne ke liye We have a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Kudavan ki taraf se hame kalam diya gaya. Now in chapter 43 of Isaiah. Ab Yesaya 43 baat mein. We'll just read verse verses 1 and 2 quickly. Iski pehli do ayat jaldi se padhenge. To refresh your memory. ताकि जो हमारी यादाश्त है ना वो जरा ताजा हो जाए आई मीन दी एम्पलीफाइड कह रही है कि मैं एम्पलीफाइड बाइबल में हूं बट नाउ इन स्पाइट ऑफ पास जजमेंट फॉर इसराइल सिंस दस सेज द लॉर्ड ही हु क्रिएटेड यू ओ जेकब एंड ही हु फॉर्मड यू ओ इसराइल फियर नॉट फॉर आई हैव रिडीम्ड यू I have ransomed you by paying a price instead of leaving you captives and I have called you by your name you are mine When you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they will not overwhelm you and when you walk through the fire you will not be burned or scorched nor will the flame kindle upon you Amen और अब ए याकूब खुदावन जिसने तुझको पैदा किया और जिसने ए इसराइल तुझको बनाया जो फरमाता है कि खौफ न कर क्योंकि मैंने तेरा फिदिया दिया है मैंने तेरा नाम लेकर तुझे बनाया है तू मेरा है जब तू सैलाब में से गुजरेगा तो मैं तेरे साथ होगा और जब तू नदियों को अबूर करेगा तो वो तुझे ना डुबाएगी जब तू आग पर चलेगा तो तुझे आंच ना लगेगी और शोला तुझे ना जलाएगा आमीन हाल लुया हाल लुया खुदावन की हम The Lord took me to 1 Peter this morning आज सुबह खुदावन मुझे पहले पतरस में ले गए So I want you to not only write these scriptures down but i want you to turn with me here to main sirf yahi nahi chahti ke aap is 
حوالے کو لکھے بلکہ میرے ساتھ نکالے نہیں We're going to look at 1 Peter chapter 2, Pela Petrus, Tusre Bab Kohan Dekhenge, verses 8, 9, and 10. Oiski 8, 9, or 10. The, the point will come in verse 10. Jo Nukata Jisper Bab Kerna Chati, who will this be I? Now, when God was preparing me to go to Pakistan the first time, I have shared this numerous times. God spoke to me in a very vivid prophetic dream. And he instructed me to preach from this chapter. Especially verses 8 and 9. He had already taken me to those scriptures. Then this dream came where I was in this horrible dark place and right behind me in very dark shadows was a number of young Pakistani people. I saw no one there over 25. And this place, it stunk. There is no other way to describe it. And I was sitting on a small stool. It seemed to be made of rock. And in front of me, just a few yards away, was a doorway filled with radiant light. And a, a majestic male voice was speaking in that light. So I could see that light was reflecting on me. But there was barely enough on those young people for me to see them. In my spirit, I'm, I'm asking the Lord many questions. And I can't help but notice that in front of that door, there was a beautiful woman like in the typical wedding clothes or something. I could not see her face. She was against the door trying to cover it up. I began to say what's going on. 
And I said, she needs to get out of the way. So you kids can see the light. You can't hear what the voice is saying. And I could tell I was aggravating this woman. And the young people said, no, no, don't upset her. We're not allowed to know what the voice is saying. She tells us she will relay all the messages to us. She's in charge of what we receive. I began to recognize that was a hindering spirit. And it was a seducing spirit. Causing these people in Pakistan in Pakistani ke liye, to depend upon what this demonic force put out. Wo ye goya keh rahi thi ke wo is and believing that they were not allowed to come out of that darkness. Well, you know me by now. I had my Bible in my hand in this dream. I jumped up on my feet I said oh no she didn't say that I said kids you better help me pray I said, you have been given authority in Christ. You do not belong back there in the dark. God has called you out of that darkness and into his glorious light. I said, we have full privilege into that light. That devil got mad. And it turned around with a scream and it lunged at me. All the beautiful disguise was gone. And I saw its ugly face and its claws trying to choke me. I said, kids, you better help me pray. Get up here. And as that demon left that light lighted door, a flood of light came on those kids. And 
And as they moved up to me and began to rebuke that thing in Jesus' name. Even though it was trying to come at my throat. I said, the blood of Jesus be against you. And there was a roar of prayer and authority behind me. That thing, it dissolved. Woo! Hallelujah. And those precious chosen generation Pakistani youth joined me and we went into that full light. Hallelujah. I jumped up. I, I was awake. <laughs> Praying in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and right then, I start getting texts from one of my godly sons in India. He said, the Lord is telling me that mom needs prayer right now. And I said, son, you are so right. <laughs> and he began to prophesy to me without hearing that dream. And God took me to this verse. And the Lord told me, you will go from one end to the other in the nation of Pakistan. God said he would take me to the north, south, east, and west. And in the next 35 days, he did exactly that. He told me I would preach this and I would encourage the Pakistani believers. And he told me I wasn't done when I got home. And that's why I'm here with you. He has called you out of darkness. He has called you into his glorious light. There are people praying and interceding for you. And I'm sure for the people who are in darkness in every nation. But God told me this fit today. Remember, he called us out of darkness. He called us into that marvelous light. I'm looking at my kitchen door. And I turned my light on in there because it's bright. <laughs> and 
But there is no human word to describe the light that God showed me. God says, you are a chosen people. A royal priesthood. Are you living like a priest of the kingdom of God in this earth? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are supposed to be putting forth wonderful deeds. That will display or show the perfection of God. He is that one who called you out of darkness. You don't hide back in the dark. And hang your head down low. You don't understand, Sister Leilani. It's so hard to be a Christian in Pakistan. God says you stop that. In Jesus' name, stop that. That hindering spirit is lying to you. That same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead is dwelling in you. And he will quicken your mortal body. Did your battery ever go dead in your car? And a friend has to come over with their car? And give you a jump? Put one end of the wire on their battery? Put one end on your dead little poor battery? And you wait a couple minutes and you both turn on your engines? And suddenly your car comes to life again. Don't let the devil lie to you. You have a constant, non-stop, 24-7. Holy Ghost jumper cable in you. Hallelujah. He will quicken you. He is jump starting you right now in Jesus name. I try to imagine what it looked like inside Jesus' tomb when 
when that Holy Ghost anointing brought our Savior back into his mortal body. And out he came from that grave in victory. You share resurrection power. Because of what your name is. First Peter 2.10, I'm going to read it first. Once you were not a people at all, but now you are God's people. Once you were unpitied, but now you are pitied and have received his mercy. Amen. I've heard people say when someone got very sick and died. And there's no faith in the atmosphere. This is the mercy of God. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Then they say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Well, see, his name isn't death. When we were back in the book of Job, three years ago, we found out the truth about that. Hallelujah. You have received the mercy of God. And you have a new name. Glory, 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 glory. Praise Jesus. I, I want you to turn to the book of Hosea. Now the prophet Isaiah, Hosea, <laughs> he lived at the same time Isaiah was alive. And when God first used him as a prophet, God gave him some strange instructions. Wanted him to take a wife from a rebellious tribe. And told him to name each of the children very prophetic names. These names would remain uh, a reminder to generations to come. And finally, the last son that Hosea, Hosea's wife had. 
Bibi Kabeta Hosea chapter 1 verse 9. And the Lord said, Call his name Lo Ami, which means not my people. For you are not my people, and I am not your God. Amen. You remember last week I said I wanted to research the Hebrew meaning of our name? As I talked to you, I made that simple declaration of faith. That, that we would find that. I never even tried all week long. My baby kept me busy. But this morning when the Lord took me to 1 Peter 2, there was a reference for the book of Hosea. And I began to look through the different translations. And the Lord spoke to my heart and said, go to the Jewish Orthodox Bible. Such a marvelous teaching tool. Oh. I mean, can we just say wow? <laughs> and suddenly... And I don't have it all written down. But as I read out of, out of Hosea and First Peter, in the Jewish Orthodox Bible, it said in Hosea 1 9, Lo Ami, not my people. But then it took me down to Hosea chapter 2. And in verse. One, I, I will read this in the Amplified for you. This is God speaking. Hosea, say to your brethren, Ami, or say, you are my people. And to your sisters, Ruhamah, or you have been pitied and have obtained mercy. Amen. Now see, that confirms what Peter said. And that Hebrew word Ami, or do uses that word? It's an endearing term for your mom, right? 
के लिए बर्दाश्त करने की असलाह है सो इन मैनी लैंग्वेजेस ए लविंग टर्म ऑफ ओनरशिप इज कम्स फ्रॉम दैट और बहुत सारी जबानों में जो प्यार और मोहब्बत से जो मलकियत है ना वो इस लफ्ज से निकलती है इब्राहिम में सो वेन गॉड सेज आई कॉल यू यू आर माइंड और जब खुदा ये कहता है कि मैंने तुझे कहा कि तुम मेरे हो गॉड कॉज यू आमी तो खुदावन आपसे कहता है अमी Capital A M M I in the English letters. Angrezi me A M M I hai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Urdu we say Ami to Mama. Yeah, I'm called Mama. that every day. <laughs> yeah. But see, it's a loving word, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it also is an ownership word. ये बड़ा प्यारा लफ्स भी है मोहब्बत का है और इसमें मलकियत भी पोशीदा है इन द प्योरेस्ट फॉर्म योर माम इज योर माम और यानी एक और अंदाज से कह सकते हैं कि आपकी जो माँ है वो माँ ही है ओह इज द लॉर्ड वंडरफुल खुदा बन कितना अजीम है नाउ एज आई स्टडीड दीज वी ऑल्सो वेंट टू Hosea 226 on down main mataliya kar rahi thi to main Hosea 226 pe jaati hu It's actually you'll find it as the 20 I meant the 25th but it's actually going to be found as the 23rd in your bible Yes it is aapki yes. bible mein 23 ayat hai Hosea 223 now I'm going to read it in the amplified then brother will follow जमा You are my God. <laughs> Amen. Or me, usko us sarzami me apne liye paunga, or lor hamal par raham karu, or lo ami se kahunga, tum mere log ho, or wo kahenge, eh, hamare Khuda. Hallelujah. Khuda ban ki tari. Lo ami means you're not my people. Lo ami ka matlab hai tum mere log nahi. Ami ata means my people you are. Ami ata ka matlab hai mere log yani tum ho mere log. And the people of God is Am Hashem. और जो खुदा के लोग हैं वो अमा हशेम है हालिया खुदा की तारीफ हो हशेम मीन्स द लोर्ड गॉड हशेम का मतलब खुदा बन हमारा खुदा सो आमी मीन्स यू आर माई पीपल तो अमी का मतलब है तुम मेरे लोग हो and even a stronger way to say it or is se bhi zara thoda sa aur sakht lafz hai translates my people you are tab jama ho ya yu hai ke tum mere log ho and that is amiyata aur ye hai amiyata isn't the lord wonderful गॉड हैड ए डबल पोर्शन लेसन फॉर यू खुदा के दिल में आज आपके लिए 
Out of that 43rd chapter of Isaiah. And this morning, he showed me a culmination. He showed me the big picture. Of that prophetic dream. And how much he loves the Pakistani church. How much he loves all of us. A lot of people say, Sister Leilani, are you Pakistani? Unless some ancestor I know nothing about came out of there. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so the same way as believers were grafted into spiritual Israel. <laughs> The precious Pakistani church has adopted me. <laughs> you can write this down. Nothing we approach in this Bible study None of it is an accident. Hallelujah. The things God showed me in the middle of 2017. He has showed me a greater fullness of it. Just in the last few days. And he needs you to know. You stop feeling lower than he is calling you to be. You have that Holy Spirit in you. I don't care if you get swallowed by a whale. I don't care what our situations look like. Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. God Almighty has not left his throne. Isaiah says in, in the 53rd chapter that before the foundation of this earth the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit put together a healing plan for you they put together a salvation plan for you. And Isaiah said that by his stripes ye were healed. Well, if I was healed, clear back then. 
I'm surely healed right now. And that's why Jesus came. He called us out of that darkness. Darkness will tell you God doesn't heal anymore. Darkness will tell you there's no hope for you. But we rebuke those hindering spirits in the name of Jesus. And you are going to walk free right into that light. This is a word for the, from the Lord for you. Hallelujah. Lift your head up. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. You call those bills paid in Jesus' name. You call your body renewed instead of degenerating. Jesus conquered death. He conquered hell and the grave. You stand strong, brother and sister in Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, rise and be healed. The name of Jesus is above every disease. Every disease was defeated on that cross. You have been given divine health. Hang on to my word, says the Lord. Turn not to the left. Turn not to the right. Do not look at the trouble below your feet. Do not look at terrifying signs in the heavens. Keep your focus on me, says the Lord of hosts. I have redeemed you. I have called you. I named you mine. I have my hand upon you, says the Lord. How can you run from my touch? How can you ignore my anointing? Trust in me, says the Lord. I will not fail. Hold on to me, says the Lord. 
خداون فرماتے ہیں میرے ساتھ لپ کے رہو آئی ایم یور بیلنس میں تمہارا توشا ہوں I am a sure foundation. Stay in my light. Ignore evil voices, says the Lord. Stand strong, my children. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for naming us. I never want to run away from that title. I thank you, Father, for this precious group, thank you for their receiving your revelation. And we trust in you, Lord. Thank you. And you are Hashem. Hashem. I'm Hashem. Oh, I'm Hashem. And we love you so much. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name. Amen, amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, brother, so much. Thank you very much, dear sister. It was really an encouraging message in these last days. Amen. Just a miracle. God just put that in front of me. Yes, of course it is. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> He needed us to have this word. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all. And don't forget to be shiny. Okay. <laughs>